neighborhood and of its people who did not want to go. I don't want no money. I want my home. The old man is old. See how the old man is old? No more. That's enough. I don't want to get out. I, I sent my two daughters. They don't want to get out too, because they spent a lot of money. Plenty of money they spent in this place. Do not get money for nobody. Never. Hi. Welcome to the West End Video Newsletter. Uh, tonight we're going to talk about the West End Museum. I know we've, done, we've talked about it in the past, but tonight we're going to bring it up again. There's a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, we could use money, and uh, part of this is going to be, uh, we're going to be out here begging for money, so if you can send some money into the West End Museum, we'd appreciate it. Uh, because we could use whatever we can get. We're, we're, uh, it's going to cost a hell of a lot to, to have it built out, and we think it's going to be a, a real resource for the city of Boston. I know it'll be a real resource for former West Enders because former West Enders uh, already are talking about, you know, what they're going to see down there and what it's like and how it's like and uh, and and college students. We every year I have at least ten college students uh, every semester. Yeah, well, not you know, yes, every semester uh, calling, you know, find out about the West End, you know, the history. Uh, and there was more than, there was like two or three disciplines involved in it. Number one, there was the uh, uh, urban planning, and there was the uh, sociological impact of it, uh, urban villages, which was, you know, a book written about the West End. Now, everybody uses that term, urban villages, uh, to, to denote their area. But the problem is, is that uh, name was coined by Herb Gans in his book, Urban Villages, about the West Enders. So the only real urban villages are guys like mm -hmm. us sitting here. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and, and not only, that was a sociological impact study, and there was a psychological uh, impact study too. So you have all these different people from all these different disciplines calling us up and uh, asking, you know, what this was about and what that was about. And uh, the problem is that I have a whole lot of stuff and I have a whole lot of research. We have 75 hours of uh, oral history tapings, but uh, <laughs> it's all like tied up. We don't have any place to really, it's not organized. But once we get it organized, uh, people will be able to use this in uh, all their different studies. The city of Boston may even want to use some of it for their history. But be that as may, tonight I'd like to introduce you to uh, Paul Jokey and uh, Arthur Vendetti, two board members and who, are, who are working hard uh, on the West End Museum. I guess we all are, but there are other people and they couldn't make it tonight, so we're just going to talk. Uh, why do you guys think it's important that we? Uh, get some well, I'd like to go out there and show my grandchildren, my children. I always mention I live near the Mass General, and I like. I matter of fact, I walked by there a few times. I, I was trying to figure out where I lived on Brighton Street, where one of those <laughs> buildings were. And I would like to show my grandchildren where I lived and what the West End was all about. Mm -hmm. I've never had any problems in the West End. You know? Yeah, there, there was some talk about doing an overlay. Uh, uh, you know, like building building the buildings in the West End mm -hmm. and putting a, a plexiglass over it and so people can look down and right. see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if that'll ever come to fruition because I just don't know if we'll ever have the money yeah. to do it. I mean, right now we're we're really strapped. I yeah. mean, we have enough money. We pay a thousand dollars every month for condo fees, and then we have to have the place painted, which is probably going to run about eight thousand, and then. Uh, the flooring is just a whole other story, and we're pretty limited in what we have for funds. So we, we're basically asking anybody, especially West Enders yeah. that are watching, if you are watching this show and you're a West Ender, we'd appreciate it if you could send a little bit of money mm -hmm. uh, in and, and help us out. Uh, whatever you give would be appreciated. Uh, we, we really need to, to get uh, some major fundraising done in the next uh, six months to a year to get this thing functioning right. We're hoping to open in about April 1st, uh, or maybe even May 1st, uh, at least towards having lectures and having uh, different type of small exhibits in. And hopefully later on we'll have these larger exhibits and we can get them done. Yeah. So, 
Uh, this is something we haven't had since the West End was taken uh, the 40 odd years. Uh, this is something tangible, something mm -hmm. people could feel, touch, and go right into. Mm -hmm. And we have never had anything like that. And uh, so I think it would be great. Uh, the estimate, estimated time of opening would be in the spring. Right, we're sometime. hoping to, yeah. Yeah, we're in the process yeah. now of painting it. And uh, of course, everything costs money, like, yeah. <laughs> like Jimmy said. <laughs> yeah, I said we're begging so, uh, for money. We're begging for we're money, <laughs> yeah. But uh, perhaps we'll have different functions mm. to raise money in the future. And uh, if we do, uh, it'll be in the, uh, uh, not the December, but it'll be in the March issue. Right, we should if have some March issue. information yeah. regarding those functions. Right. Uh, Hopefully, we will have some kind of uh, social gathering. Or yeah. Or, 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 yeah. Like, I guess a mini reunion, or uh, I don't want to call it a reunion because it's uh, it's for the museum and the museum. Uh, yeah, I guess it'll be like an opening fundraiser. Or not. We're hoping that mm -hmm. we can get uh, Leonard Nimoy, who was right, yeah. Yeah. who was a prominent West Ender. Yeah, that, that was a talk over Lombardo's nice. there. Yeah. Randolph was it trying yeah. to get that mm -hmm. you know, and, fundraiser. Uh, yeah, and it's a. Uh, 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 like I say, I, I'm going to try to send him a letter and see if he can come in for it. Uh, of course, he's, you know, he's a star and he has to, you know, yeah. he's limited to what time yeah. he, he can come or when he can't yeah. come. Uh, when he does come, I'm, I'm sure he'll socialize with people and perhaps autographs and things of that nature. You know, and uh, he's, he's quite a generous person and he's... Well, he did that for the West End House. He came in for the West yeah. End House. He went to, the, and he was upstairs afterwards. Somewhere in all my stuff, I have videos. We went out, we taped the West End House. They have a dinner every year. It's a fundraiser, yeah. West End House fundraiser. Yeah. And they have, they, they have a dinner every year. And then afterwards, they, they had like rooms upstairs. I think it was in one of the Marriott's downtown or somewhere. And they, we went upstairs and there was like all the old time guys in the West End House and he was there, and we videotaped him interacting yeah. with his friends, not as an actor, not yeah. even, you know, sitting there, but just bullshitting with yeah. everybody, right? And yeah. he, he just, he, he's, he's a good guy, he's a good man. Yeah, he is, yeah. and he, he's never forgotten his roots. That's right. He's always supported the newspaper and uh, That's right. whatever activities we have. Yeah. Matter of fact, he um, sent some money in uh, yeah. on, on, on the yeah. last newsletter. Good, good guy. Yeah. And, uh, and, we, we also expect, like, genealogy, you know, that yeah. uh, we can have, you know, there'll be all kinds of families. Uh, and that you can research that we have some of the books that were, you know, the voting list going back so far. Yeah. So... Uh, well, we're talking about a mini Ellis Island, if we can, if we, if sure. we, get, that, the, if we get the money and fund it. Right. look up where your parents live in the West End right. and so forth. Right. The records, uh, Joe Peterkin, who is one of our board members, yeah. he has been... Uh, trying to track down the records to do exactly that. Yeah. Uh, so we have all kinds of projects going. We don't have yeah. a lot of money, but we no. have a lot of goodwill, and we have a lot of, <laughs> you know, we're, we're friends, and we'll, we'll, we'll get something moving. It's out. a place to come down and hang around, yeah. see all your friends, and come That's in right. for a cup of coffee. Yeah. That's right, exactly. And, yeah. Uh, it'll, it'll be a good time, you know, and everybody's welcome. I yeah. mean, you know, the one thing, see, one thing about the West End that a lot of people don't understand the West End was a little different than other neighborhoods in Boston of that time. Of course, the city of Boston was the most ethnically segregated city in the country because they, uh, East Boston was like Italian, the North End was Italian, uh, South Boston and, and Charlestown were Irish, or Mission Hill was Irish in those days. And uh, the West End and the New York streets were the only two streets yeah. that were ethnically diverse. Right. And, uh, and that was in the South End, yeah. in case the right. viewers don't realize. And, uh, that was a, the West End was one of the few places yeah. that wasn't. But if you came into the West End, uh, see, other areas of the city, if you, come into the, you came into that neighborhood, it took you 20 years to become a member of that neighborhood. Right. You know, everybody, yeah, they say hi, but, you know, I mean, you never had that, you didn't get that closeness. Mm -hmm. and in the West End, for some reason, and I don't sure. want to put anything on the West End, you know, there's some yeah. mystical light on us. Yeah. Or something. But if you came into the West End, basically, you were uh, accepted, unless you did something that was totally out of the way. And, and West End is, yeah. you know, would, 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 <laughs> I mean, they could be pretty hot on you if they, yeah. if they thought you were breaking <laughs> neighborhood taboos. I yeah. mean, yeah. I mean I you know, the place wasn't, you know, we weren't angels. Yeah. But basically, you were accepted, you know, immediately. I know people would come in and everybody would, 
you can move around the yeah. neighborhood and there wouldn't, there wouldn't be any problems. And, and you know, open to open. Sure. I remember uh, one of the guys uh, I grew up with, uh, his mother came in from, uh, they, they lived in Winchester when they moved into the West End, right? Uh, his mother's, I, I went up to, to his house, right? I, I met him and we went out, he says, why don't you go over to my mother's house, right? Mm -hmm. And so we went out to Quincy and she said, you know, when I moved into the West End, I put my head down on the table and I said, how could I have fallen so far, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Yeah. She says, 10 yeah. years later, I was saying, you can't, I don't want to leave. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. And she was Irish and, and what she said was, you know, she said, you know what I miss most? The holly gully guy, the guy with the bow. Oh, the, the, <laughs> the crowd man. Uh, the crowd man. Gully gully. Yeah. Gully, gully, gully. Gully. I think it meant yeah. hot, hot, yeah. Yeah. I believe. But anyways, Italian. in other words, and, and it's amazing, okay? Yeah. And, then, and see, there was an openness there. And why it was there, I don't know. Why it wasn't in the other neighborhoods, I don't know. I played football in the North End after they tore the yeah. West End down. And I hung around there for about seven or eight years. And nice people. I don't want to uh, besmirch them or say anything that was wrong with them. Yeah. But just... Uh, right. Uh, if you were, the West End was different because you could go, the North and the West End were sort of sister communities. You could move between them. But if you were somebody that wasn't like from the West End, the North End, and you yeah. moved into the North End, it would take you forever to be, yeah, to get accepted, involved in yeah. the society. Yeah. yeah. What a lot of uh, our viewers here don't realize is we, ha we have in the museum now, we have everything in created. Right. And we have uh, artifacts, we have photographs. Mm -hmm. uh, we have writings. Right. We uh, yeah. just so much that it's just waiting to be put out. That was from the old. That was from the old state, state house exhibit. That's right. They had it there for six months. Yeah. And so we've had that. A year. A year. Are we? It was a year. A and it year. was an award-winning exhibit. And it, how long has it been laying inside the yeah. museum? Well, it hasn't always been laying inside yeah. the museum. And uh, when they took it down, I guess the exhibit was I think '92, and they took it down in the end of '93 or whatever it was. Yeah. Uh, it was stored, I think, in Charlestown somewhere uh, for about whatever the years were. When finally the building went up, uh, they brought it in there and they, they stored it yeah. in there. Uh, and that's going to take money right, because yeah. what's going to have yeah, to right. happen, we're going to have to get somebody that knows right. how it got taken apart to put it back together right. again. Okay. And uh, one part of the exhibit was the uh, stoop. You remember, I don't know if you remember the stoop. Yeah, it was four feet up off the sidewalk. Yeah. So five, well, about five or six yeah. feet up. That stu the stoop they had at the Bostonian Society, they couldn't take it apart, so they had to break it down. So we'd probably have to uh, find whoever did the original one, or yeah. I think that the Bostonian Society, well, someone told me ha they have the blueprints. Okay, yeah. So we can, we can we just... We must have a cop in the rough that he can make the <laughs> steps for us. <laughs> no problem. And also, I believe there's a replica of an old drugstore if I recall, that was in that exhibit at the State House, wasn't there? I we know. had mannequins of people. Oh, they had mannequins. What they did have was and, uh, 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 they had a, a fire escape, and in the back of it was these blown up pictures of the West End, where you yeah. could be like, you, it was like you were looking down from your fire escape. Yeah, and they had these two, uh, they, were, they were, weren't actually mannequins, they were, I think, some kind of like alabaster statuettes. Yes. And, the, and they, they, was, they, was, yeah. they were on the fire yeah. escape. It was very interesting. And like I said, it did yeah. win an award. Yeah. And, you know, we put a lot of work into that. The West Enders sure. went there and, sure. and gave them. Matter of fact, West Enders gave them a lot of their uh, the, uh, stuff they used for the exhibit, which mm -hmm. they kept afterwards, you know, yeah. the photos and everything. So. Yeah. As a matter of fact, perhaps some of the viewers there, you could see your, your, your homes, right. some of the streets that they lived on in the photographs. We have mm -hmm. thousands of photographs yeah. that have to be uh, placed on the walls, and uh, yeah. it'd, it'd be quite interesting. It isn't just something that they're going to throw up. It's it's going to be a history of the West End right. that they're That's showing right. from the concept and until. Right. The and we, ex it's not just going to be a timeline of uh, from 1900 to 1958. Okay? That's right. It's going to be a timeline uh, from. Uh, whenever the first Portuguese fishermen in the 1600s, 1600s, 1700s, yeah, around that around that they used to, you, they would they would go on the the spit at mm -hmm. the end of the West End, there yeah. around by Leverett Circle, right. mm -hmm. and and they would uh, cook their fish and smoke their fish down there, and, and yeah. then leave. I mean, they didn't stay, but they left uh, right. all the way up to now. I mean, you know, Charles River Park, as much as you know, a lot of West Enders hate it, it's still part of the history. Yeah, yeah it is. So the history is. has to be taken in. And I mean, just because it's something we don't like doesn't yeah. mean it's not <laughs> right. something yeah. we're, we're, yeah. we're going to do. So it, it, it'll all be, there'll be a timeline all the way up. 
and uh, hopefully that uh, we at least will make it interesting, which well, I believe we will. Hopefully we can get enough money because Arthur <laughs> over here is up. He's going to do some painting on the walls. We'll do, what do you call them, Arthur? What are we going to do? Murals. Uh, murals. murals. We're yeah. going to do murals. Yeah. Murals of certain sections of the West yeah. End. Yeah. But we need money. <laughs> That's the big thing. Yeah, we need a lot of money. And if, if any of you are interested in uh, donating to the West End Museum, uh, the West End Museum, it's, it's the West End Museum, P.O. Box 8996, Boston, Mass, 02114. Uh, if you send it in to there, uh, and if you send it in, we, we take it and we, we put your name into the, the yes, West Ender newsletter and right. as, as, as a person who has generously yeah. donated to our museum. That's right. Well, plus another friend raised, I, I guess we're talking about, is having a memorial wall. Right. Their parents, they want to put plaque and be so much money. Right. Just right. So, sort, of like, sort of like Ellis Island. Right. right. Yeah. Sort yeah. of like Ellis Island. We, yeah. and, and it's funny, before, before Ellis Island was even... The, uh, you know, we've been involved in this, right, since mm -hmm. about 1984. Mm -hmm. we, we originally, uh, when Mayor Flynn was mayor, he helped us out. He said, you know, you guys got screwed in the West End, yeah. and we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna try. We won't be able to get the West End back for you, but we'll try to make it up for yeah. you. And uh, they really went out for us. And uh, so we've been, we've been involved in this museum since then, and it's just... It seems to go on and on and on right. and on yeah. and on. And finally, and finally, we have the place, and we have uh, the only thing we don't have is the money, unfortunately. Right. Uh, and and we're you know we would appreciate it. Uh, yeah. You don't have to be from, from the West End to donate to it. Uh, yeah. We'll still use your name and put yeah. your name out there right. and s yeah. send you a thank you. I mean, yeah. we we just we just or if you're if you were uh, uh, a flooring uh, yeah. company. And you, you'd like to <laughs> give us a good price, give us, give us uh, a good you know, price, uh, or even roll it out yeah, for us, you yeah. know, and take it off your taxes. With you know, yeah. we're, we are a five hundred one c three, and we can we, you know we need a lot of help. We have forty two hundred and fifty square feet, right. or fourteen <laughs> foot holes. Right. We have a lot of space to fill up. That's right. We have a lot of stuff down there, Jimmy. You must have tons of photographs people sent you over the years. Oh yeah. Oh, like I say, it's not just it's not just West Enders that are interested in the West End, mm -hmm. and we're probably going to be gone. We're probably going to be gone. We're all hopefully in, we're, in, we're in the good sixty in the sixty uh, age group, and yeah. when we're gone, it'll be there. And I'm sure people will still be trying to research the West End because they, like I say, yeah. they do it constantly, and, it, and it's unbelievable. Yeah. It'll be a good place. You come yeah. down and visit. Like I said before, yeah. have a cup of coffee in there. And That's just right. shoot the, yeah. the bull with everybody. And, and the one thing, there is one other exhibit that I've always wanted and everybody I talk to. Matter of fact, uh, I mentioned it at the management board meeting at the West End Place. And what I was thinking about was putting in a fountain. Oh, you know, going, you know, maybe to one of those, you know, restaurants and right. see if they still had the old one, put an old one in right. there and sit down there and we can, you know, we could use it as partial fundraiser and uh, uh, of nostalgia. Speaking mm. of fa the fountains, how about the horse fountain that's down the South Shore? It used to be in, in the... Yeah, there's a guy that bought it. that that has in his Yeah, I know. I, I went, you, you know who he knows is Tony Odo. Yeah. Oh. Tony Odo. On one of the West Enders. Right. Yeah. Tony yeah. Odo. Yeah, he did write an article about Tony that. Odo yeah. brought us down to... And we have some video of the horse trial. It's down around Plymouth or Carver in or somewhere there, in, yeah. in that area. Yeah, we went down there and we did some video with Tony Odo. He brought us down there. It was... Uh, and what, it's only the top of the uh, horse trial right. now. The bottom of the uh, horse trial got destroyed, I guess, from whenever. But they took, and it was the grandfather of this person, uh, and he was a horse dealer right. in around the 1900s. And he put on the, and, and on the horse trial, which I never knew was there, okay. and said to, to so-and-so who loved horses. Okay, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That was yeah. his gift from so-and-so who loved yeah. horses. And, you know, That'll I, be in the museum too if we can get, get the, the gentleman get, that owns it yeah. to well, we'd have contribute to get, it. Yeah, yeah we'd have to get and, we'd uh, have to get in touch. I with remember it. taking a drink from that. We used to yeah. drink from there. And water balloons too. Yeah, well, yeah. Wow. <laughs> that, that was right. fresh kids. <laughs> that was right in front of the bakery. That's right. Yeah. What, the, uh, what was that bakery's name? Godfrey's. Godfrey's, Godfrey's yeah. Bakery. Yeah. Originally, Godfrey's was up 
up high, right in the middle of the middle of yeah. the Causeway Street yeah. there. Then they moved down, they right? Moved down, yeah, yeah. And it was uh, it, it was a fun place. I yeah. in the middle, of, and all those cobblestones. You know, right. Was, was, I'd like yeah. to get the, back to something that you were talking about, referring to where we're all in our sixties now. Right. Uh, of course, there are our older people, but right. we'll probably be the, be the last generation to talk. And it's what's moment, very yeah. important for your viewers is to educate your children and your grandchildren about this because this is your roots. These are your roots, the West End. And, uh, and whatever, if you whatever, don't, whatever money you donate, you don't, you'll, yes. be, it'll, you'll be enshrined as long as the museum That's is right. up. Yeah. And I right. assume the museum will be up for, for as long as... As long as we live, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Or much longer. Uh, right. uh, yeah. Yeah. As yeah. a matter of fact, some of the residents in the, uh, in the building are... Uh, becoming more and more supportive of what, what we're right. doing. We're getting a lot of feedback from the residents and how, how important it is yeah. for them, even though they are, aren't West Enders. That's right. They still live on the property, and it's on the ground that uh, West End was right. built on. And the, they're interested in having they a They are quality, very interested yeah, in quality, a museum. Quality museum, yeah, which I think we all are. And uh, I, 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 several of them have uh, contributed already to it. So... Uh, yeah, and uh, as we go, uh, we, we will try to, uh, whatever ideas we have now, this is what I found out, like when I started with the newsletter, I started with a whole different concept. Mm -hmm. But as it evolves, you know, you get into things you never thought about, okay? Right, right. And I'm sure in the future we'll have a whole host of right. exhibits and things that right yeah. now we can't even uh, think of. But, That's you right. know, in, in, the, in the future it'll all change. I mean... Uh, yeah, there's so many things you can do down there. Yeah, like, there is. Uh, it's so large of an area. Mm -hmm. And how many square feet did you say it was? 4,250 square that's feet. That's pretty big. Uh, that's, and, that's, uh, that's, with, that's with the office spaces. It's yeah, 3,500. Yeah, it would be more the exhi like exhibition space. Viewing right. space or exhibition. Yeah. We also right. have a kitchen <laughs> in there. Like yeah, and there's uh, yeah. several bathrooms. Several, yeah, several bathrooms. bathrooms. So there's facilities place. to accommodate yeah. uh, it's visitors. A, it's a, the best location in Boston, right, yeah. right there, right at North Station. Right, right across. From we the have Joe Peterk, and he works for a tour agency. He'll probably come by with the bus and drop him off over there. Yeah. Then we'll yeah. go through the museum when yeah. we're open. Yeah, it was just a uh, matter of fact. Uh, the convention is going to be there in July. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. right. The convention. Yeah. Well, yeah. We'll be, hopefully, we'll be open. We'll be in. Yeah. We'll, we're right yeah. there. They're at yeah. the fleet center. Right. That's right. Right. Yeah. Exactly. There, there only may be one problem at that particular time, and yeah. I don't know if I want to bring this up in the middle of a fundraising yeah. uh, program, but uh, they may block off some of the streets. Okay. Yeah. They don't uh, know what they're going to do. For security right. purposes, right. I believe. And they won't tell you what they're going to do now yeah. because they don't want to let you know yeah, ahead obviously. of time. Yeah. So, right. so there but may be some problems with yeah. you know getting people in and out well, of I the, suggest when the museum is open, you come in, you take the tea in. Oh, yeah. It, that's the easiest way to get off North yeah, Station. Up and you're right there. You're right there in that's five right. minutes. From three different, you can take the green line and get off at the... Uh, Bowden. Bowden. Right. Uh, uh, the, anyway. The blue, like the blue line, the, uh, you can get off at uh, Charles Street, yeah. or you can get the green line and get off at uh, uh, what's <laughs> Science Park Science Station. Park, yeah. Yeah. Uh, right. It's a nice walk in the no, spring like and the summer, it. and uh, you have the aquarium station there, and mm -hmm. uh, that, that's a nice walk through Faneuil, Mar Faneuil right. Market. That's right. It's very so convenient. It's very convenient uh, right. for everyone. To and that's, what, that's why most people are, are, are coming back to, well, that's one of the reasons they put up Charles River Park, because it was in the middle of a very oh, convenient obviously. Area. Oh, Boston's yeah. a beautiful city now. Oh, it's, it's, I mean, if you left Boston 30 years ago, you come back, you yeah. would know well, yeah. Boston, how much Boston had improved. Well, Forty years ago. Look at, look at the South End. Yeah. Now, that was the first major eminent domain yeah. urban renewal uh, yeah. project in the city, and nobody wanted to build on it yeah. because they yeah. felt that uh, South End was like too uh, uh, slummy, right? So they, that's why they ended up coming to the West End because they were looking for a slum in a good location. Yeah. I don't, I'm right. not saying we were a slum. I'm just yeah. saying that was the. Uh, it's it's going to open in uh, in the spring, hopefully the early spring, but. Uh, and the purpose of this this show is to is to raise money, and we're asking for contributions. Exactly. And uh, you have the address. Uh, Jimmy gave it to you uh, earlier. We'll go over it one more time. It's the yeah. West End Museum, P.O. Box, eight nine nine six, Boston, Mass. O two one four four. And, uh, and we are planning on having uh, various functions to raise money. Also, mm -hmm. it'll. 
Right, it'll probably be in the, uh, uh, what is it, the March issue? Of the West Ender. Of the West right. Ender. Yeah. It'll be, it'll be coming out. Uh, I'd like to say again, we're paying almost $1,000 a month. We've been yeah. paying for six months now for an empty space. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if, yeah. if we had the museum open, maybe through donations and everything. Right. Yeah. And also, uh, <laughs> when, when, uh, it, when you go into the museum, there'll be uh, some kind of uh, uh, donation. Donation. Uh, yeah, the, 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 uh, yeah, there'll be no charge. Yeah, I don't think we're charging. No charge. No so, charge. Right, we're talking. There'll be donations only. People want to leave a dollar or two. If you can, that's all. If you can, a change. Even a them. quarter, 50 right. cents uh, yeah. when you walk in will help. Yeah. And uh, well, it's open to the public. Yeah. It should be. Uh, hopefully, we could get it onto the Freedom Trail. Right. Maybe. Yeah, yeah it's part of the. Uh, it's yeah. part of it. it and uh, it was also, you know, way back before we, we got into all the legal trouble with our, with, with our partners, uh, I had reached out to the. Afro Meeting House, the Vilna Show, and uh, Spinea, and ourselves, because, you know, the Otis Gray House. Mm -hmm. Right. And I said, you know, we could put together, you know, like on this side of the city, because we're all here, we could put together and call it the historic quarter mile, because right. all these, mm -hmm. I mean, we, the, our building won't be historic, because it's, you it's know, relatively no, new, no. but the idea, okay, the history of the well, West uh, is historic. The okay? proximity of where right. it is is very So historic. we could just put that, you know, make one big swing of it. it would, it it could work now if we can get something like that going too. Yeah. You know, put put a something down in Fanville Hall where they could come through and visit all four historic places at one shot. Interesting. Like myself, I'm I can't wait till it's open because I yeah. can take the train and go around and hang around. Yeah. I'll see people I haven't seen in That's forty right. years. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And. Uh, you know, it's funny. You look at somebody. I said, I know this guy. <laughs> yeah. I can't think of his name. I, Forty years ago, I seen him. That's right. I can't think of his name. It's very like that. Yeah. I hope I get a lot of experiences like that when the museum is open. Right. So. Yeah. And we, when we do open it, we'll have like a, an opening, uh, some kind of an opening. Oh, yeah, we'll have a grand opening. And yeah. we'll try to get uh, uh, celebrities. Well, whatever. Uh, whatever well, we can do yeah. to. Yeah. Uh, like I say, the, uh, the biggest celebrity it. nowadays would be uh, Lennon Nimoy. Nimoy and, uh, Everybody else, Ruth Roman died. Right. Uh, Jerry, Jerry Colon is gone. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I forgot who else. So there's a few uh, others that grew up there. Buddy Clark died. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I we're coming to the end of the show, and I'd like to reiterate that uh, this is a we could use whatever money we can because we have to put this museum together. Uh, and you're welcome to come down and see the place after we put it together. And if you could get up the money, uh, not get up the money, but if you could send in some money right. and, and help us get there, it would be greatly appreciated. Do you guys have uh, anything you'd like well, to I add to that? Well, I even if you want to come down, we're, why we're trying to open the museum, mm. if they're working, and just to see the location, right. see right. the location, and see what the museum's going to look like, get an That's idea. Right. It's a nice big area, beautiful area yeah, over it there. It, nice and wide yeah. open. Yeah. Actually, there's two parts. One part would probably make the smaller part I was thinking might make a great place for yeah. a lecture room. A lecture room, that's yeah. a good idea, yeah. 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 Be. Uh, if you know if you know anyone, if you have friends, uh, try to educate them on it, uh, even if they're not from the West End, educate mm -hmm. them, tell them what our position is, and uh, perhaps they'd find it interesting, too. Okay, and we'll see you at the next West End Video Newsletter.